Now, a lot of parents have difficulty sometimes accepting that their child can be a bully. But if the right ingredients are in place, yes, even your child can be a bully. So this slide covers what to do if you find out your child is being the bully. So number one, make it clear that their behavior is unacceptable. It will have consequences and it needs to stop immediately. Your child must understand the rules. They must know that our parents will not tolerate uh, such behavior. So they need to be, so the rules need to be made clear to them. You need to ex clearly explain to them that they should never ever bully anyone and if they do there will be consequences. So they need to understand that my parents uh, take this issue seriously and I will there, will there will be consequences and I will be punished. Number two, follow through with consequences. So a lot of parents they tell their kids when they find out that they're building, bullying, oh wait till you get home, oh you know you're gonna get in trouble, but when they go home nothing happens. So what you're teaching the child by this is that their, con their actions have no consequences. So they'll just keep doing what they want to do because there's no consequences to pay for. So make sure whatever punishment you set for or you whatever consequences you teach tell your child you know maybe you say if you if you find that you're doing such and such we're going to take away your video games or some other privilege uh, make sure you go through with the consequences because if you do not then they will not take you seriously um, number three help them recognize how it is making the victim feel now this comes in the so this is the issue of empathy you have to make them feel like being in the shoes of the victim you can ask them how would you feel if your little sister or your little brother was being you know treated the way that you're treating this child what if you were that child who was being treated that way how would you feel and they may say well you know i would not like it well you know what that all, that kid that you were hurting also did not like it so you have to make it you have to, to you have to try to get them to connect and empathize with the victim uh number four encourage them to perform an act of kindness so Whenever a child uh, bullies another child, they may be getting some sort of high off of it, some sort of negative high. So you want to reverse that and basically turn it into a positive high. Basically, you want to teach the child that they can get a good high from doing a good act of kindness in society. It doesn't have to be because when you do an act of when you have a difference on someone's life, when you make it, when you have an impact, negative or positive, in someone's life, it kind of makes you feel something inside. So you want to make your child feel good when you, you basically you want to teach your child that they can also have an impact on someone else's life and have that positive high by doing something good. It doesn't have to be something negative. So you know you can either you know take them to the soup kitchen help and help them um, uh, serve food to the homeless. You can either have them um, volunteer at a local nonprofit. Um, make them collect money for some cause or whatever it may be but you want to make them basically uh, feel good about an act of kindness and having an impact a positive impact on someone's life uh, another thing you can do is if, if, if now some kids they have anger issues so if they have anger issues you can you have to teach them to control it so you need to get them a therapist or a counselor and you need to get them counseling and, and therapy to, in order to control their angry behavior so some kids are just like that they just need therapy and counseling so if you if so if you as a parent are the best judge so if you feel that your child does have anger issues you need to get them you need to get them professional help just as if your child needed surgery or if their child needed some medication because they're sick you, you would take them to a professional so i'm not sure why mental health is such a stigma uh, around many people that if they feel that the child is, you know, not acting appropriately or they have anger issues, they don't take them to a therapist or a counselor. Um, okay, I skipped one here. It's uh, ask them to reflect on why they are doing it. Um, so basically, you want to ask them the reasons behind. You want to get to the core of the issue. What is causing you to behave this way? Why did you pick on that child? Why did you hit him or her? What was the reason? What made you do that? And maybe that's when all the skeletons in the closet will come out. Well, my friends made me do it. Well, they dared me to do it. So now that's a sign your child is not hanging out with the right crowd. Or maybe, well, mom, dad, you know, my older brother or sister does it to me, but you don't say anything to them. Why do you care if I do it to some other kids in school? So, but the bottom line is you need to, you need to get them, uh, you need to figure out why they are doing what they are doing. Um, 
if communication issues, teach them problem solving. So some kids, they have a really tough time um, with communication. They don't know how to communicate properly. It might be some sort of mental illness or maybe some other reasons, maybe some sort of a trauma as a child, but whatever it may be, some kids or some kids are just shy. You know, they don't know how to properly communicate with other kids. They've never learned. Um, so in this case, you want to, again, get them, uh, you, you want to get them professional help if possible, but you want to teach them communication skills, especially on how to reach a compromise. A lot of kids who don't know how to communicate, they don't know how to reach a compromise. And in this world, you need, if you want to get along, you have to reach, you have to learn to compromise. If low confidence, then help them feel better about themselves. So some kids, like I, so I said earlier in the slides, in the previous slides, that because of low self-confidence, uh, some kids, uh, many kids become victims of bullying. There's the opposite trend too. Some, in some cases, when kids have low self-confidence, they become the bully because that's the only time it makes them feel confident when they're picking on other kids. So because of self-confidence, because of low self-confidence, they become the bully. So if that is the case, then you need to help them feel better about themselves and raise their self-confidence and their um, uh, self-worth and self-esteem. And the last one here is you need, to, you need to know their friends because it is very likely that if a child is hanging out with the wrong crowd or a crowd of bullies, then they are most likely to bully themselves as well. So if they're not, if they're not hanging out with the right crowd, then you as a parent must interfere and say you, you basically need to put some sort of restrictions on their friends that are having a bad influence on their lives.